when our Lord ascended to heaven, he promised that he would not leave us orphans, besides uh, promising to send his Holy Ghost on Pentecost, he also gave us the divine heavenly gift, his own body and blood in the Holy Eucharist. Today's saint is Saint Pascal Balan, who lived in the 1500s. He was a Spanish saint, and from the time he was just a little boy, he worked as a shepherd. That is a very Christ-like occupation because our Lord, of course, is our heavenly and divine shepherd and we are his sheep. Saint Pascal never had a chance to go to school and still he taught himself to read and write, asking everyone he met to help him. And he did this so that he could read religious books and know his religion very well. Pascal was a very good and honest boy. If any of his sheep damaged anyone's crops in any way, Pascal would make sure the owner was paid for what was lost. And when he was 24 years old, the shepherd became a Franciscan brother and his companions in the monastery found him to be so kind and humble man who willingly did the most unpleasant and hardest chores. Saint Pascal practiced even more uh, uh, severe penances than the strict rule of the Franciscans required and still he was always such a joyful and happy soul, and his one great joy was to be with our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. Saint Pascal would kneel for hours at a time before the altar without letting his joined hands touch the pew, and he loved to serve one Mass after another. And he also uh, loved greatly the Blessed Virgin Mary. Every day he said as many rosaries as he could, and he wrote many beautiful prayers to our Heavenly Mother. And he died with the rosary in his hands, just as the bell rang at the consecration of the Mass. And the very last word on his lips was, the holy name of Jesus. So there you see, children, we during May do devotions to Blessed Virgin Mary, and we should every single day have the, uh, the holy name of Mary on our lips, because if we invoke our Heavenly Mother to be our helper and our guide on earth, she will most certainly hear us. And what could be better a joy or more pleasing to Our Lady than that we go and visit he, her son often. Jesus is in the Blessed Sacrament. When we go to church or attend devotions or benediction there, and especially when we receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, we are so, so close to him. And if we spend our life with Jesus and Mary, we are certain that we also see both of them and Holy Joseph there in heaven. And that will be the greatest and most perfect joy anyone can ever have. May God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.